Yo, what's up guys? It's NLW Figs here, back again with another video. Today, a little bit of a shorter one for you because, um, as the title suggests, I bought a tank. There it is, in uh, all its glory. Yep, another splurge uh, that I made uh, about a month ago now. I'll kind of tell you the story about this tank and show you uh, what it's got and kind of where you can kind of find these kind of things. But before I get into the video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more wrestling figure content and comment down below what you think of this um, giant tank. Um, yeah, like a weird video for me to make. Uh, well, not one that I thought I'd make and not a find that I thought I would make. So, um, yeah, we'll start off. Uh, basically, this tank, yeah, where did I find it? I found it in a charity shop for 15 quid, you know, decent money, um, and then, uh, yeah, I thought, I have to get this, I have to bring it home, because it was in scale with the WWE figures, as you can see, Triple H, uh, right here, you've seen him riding in tanks before, um, you know, jeeps and stuff like that, um, during the Monday Night Wars, so just for scale purposes, I'll kind of show you what Triple H is looking like just by the side of this tank. So yeah, like as you can see, perfect scale, and especially with the uh, war going on between NLW and Metal Wrestling, thought it would be perfect for that. So you'll probably be seeing this tank in NLW at some point, um, if not then Metal as well. Uh, yeah, but like, again, like a cool prop um, to use. So I'll, I'll kind of show you what's going on. So first of all, we'll start at the bottom. It's like a British Army tank that basically this is, um, and this was uh, something I found in the charity shop, as I said. Uh, so what this is, is basically, yeah, so it moves along like that, and it's kind of, um, yeah, powered by these kind of gears just at the bottom. So there's a couple on this side, and then um, as we move forward and kind of show you the front of it a little bit. So you've got the British flag there, and then the, um, the numbered plate on the side. And again, same thing going on here. You've got the numbers, and you've got the uh, the the wheels. Well, what would you call them? I can't remember what these are called. The, um, the tracks, whatever you would call them. And then on the back again, more number plate stuff and the British Army stuff, and yada, yada, yada. And on the side as well, you've got like the, the little bit of a tubing thing. Again, you can tell I'm not really into my military history and stuff like that. So I would have no idea um, what's going on um, with any of this really. Uh, but all I know is a really cool prop um, to use, especially for animation. And oh, careful, but you can see um, the, the tank nozzle, the shooter. God, what would you call it? I've really done no guns or anything like that. Um, sorry, I never really played with tanks as a kid. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can like put like missiles in there or what it used to be maybe it's just for like display purposes or what but yeah this basically moves around like that and uh, the top part as well I'll just show you a little bit closer yeah that moves independently as well so you can have someone in there firing the tank and it's great for animation you know if you can find one on the cheap and uh, that's another thing I will say if you go to like charity shops and stuff like that there's always uh, a couple of cool toys that you can find in there a couple of cool vehicles um, you know and there's even like you know brat stuff and um, Barbie, even that kind of thing is, um, you know, like cars and props for um, animation. I know that um, there's a couple of people who've got like some really cool, you know, big like trucks and stuff. And there was a recycling truck actually that I wanted to get, like a bin lorry. I thought that would be cool to use in NLW. So there you see a warning to cover. I would definitely take it because boom, it might be going off. Um, and now we'll kind of move up a little bit here and show you the inside. So I'll sort of zoom out and kind of show you a little bit of what's going on. So in here, you've got the hatch, and uh, in here you've got... Um, I'm wondering whether or not I could probably take this off and maybe, I don't know, like, film the inside of it. It's probably going to be too difficult, though, because I don't know how much room's going to be in there. You've got my hands stuck there. Um, but yeah, you can put your wrestlers in there, or your action figures, whatever, and they just fit in the top like that and can control the tank um, and, you know, control all the, the stuff. And you can even like hide them in there because there's the top hatch. And there's also, funny enough, a secondary mini hatch here. So if I can just kind of draw your attention there, you can see Triple H's feet hanging out there. So there he is, Triple H hiding in a little secondary hatch. So you can also have someone kind of poking your head out and you're very unlikely to lose any toys in here. So it's not too bad, but yeah. So you can have someone up there while uh, you've got your main guy maybe at the top. Um, here we are, R-Truth. R-Truth's driving the tank with Triple H. So there's a storyline idea for your WWE. Pop them in the top there. So R-Truth and Triple H, just, just a couple of dudes hanging out in the tank, you know? Um, but yeah, this is something that I've wanted to have for a while. Like, I really want to expand the kind of production value of NLW. So I think having something like a tank and, you know, more cars and things like that. I know there's a car that I've been having my eye on, uh, like a remote control one that's kind of in scale with WWE figures, like a Land Rover. 
So I think that'd be cool to use. And also you've got, you know, your Slambulance, your, your Reckon Slammobile, but uh, definitely go and try and find stuff in like thrift shops and charity shops and stuff like that. Cause you know, you give them to a good cause as well as maybe picking up a good bargain for, I don't know, a tank. <laughs> but that's it from me for this video. Basically, yeah, I just wanted to show you what's um, what I've been doing and what I've been planning. And do let me know if you want to see more of these kind of like mini videos where I just kind of show you what I've bought and like, it's like a haul video, but not really. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Also comment down below. Do you have any kind of items that you like to use in your pick fed? Maybe a car, maybe um, a toy set or something else that you think is, is pretty cool to use, like other little props and things. Yeah, let me know in those comments. And as always, remember to subscribe to NLW Figs for more wrestling figure content. That's it from me. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.